We're going to make a little comparison between English and math today. So if you're familiar with the English language, of course, these words here should, hopefully should be familiar to you. Letters, words, phrases, and sentences. But we're going to look at them a little bit closer here today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have, if you have letters, uh, you know that letters, they go together to form words. Keeping this kind of simple initially. Words go together to give you phrases, and phrases in the English language, they're going to go together with a verb to give you sentences such as this one. The boy rode his bike to the store. So you have a phrase and you have your verb there. Let's look at algebra. Very similar. You have coefficients. Coefficients go together to give you terms. Well, first, let's look at what is a coefficient. You can have you can have a numerical coefficient, such as 2 or 3, or you could have what's called a literal coefficient, and that's simply made up of a letter or letters with their exponents. So it could look like this, or possibly that. So you have a numerical coefficient, and you have a literal coefficient. So these go together to give you terms. Now, let's see, terms, they go together to give you expressions. Now. What's a term? A term is an algebraic. Uh, a ter uh, an algebraic term is a combination of a numerical coefficient and a literal coefficient separated by a multiplication sign. So you could have a term. I'll just put this down here. That looks something like this. 2x squared. You could have a term that looks simply like this. 3x. So these go together to give expressions. Now, what are expressions? Expressions go together with a math verb to give sentences. Now, what's an expression? It's a, basically a group of terms separated by either a positive or a negative sign. So an expression, let's see if I can squeeze this in down here. An expression might look something like this. We have 4x minus... 3y squared plus 2a. So here we have an expression. These go together to give math sentences. And what's a sentence in math? It's basically, uh, it's an algebraic sentence. Simply uh, may have expressions separated by a mathematical verb. What is a math verb? There is a math verb right there your equal sign. <clears throat> the only thing that you can do with a sentence is to try to solve it. So a sentence, let's see, a sentence might look something like this. 2x plus 3 equals 9. Okay, so there we go. Kind of a nice, neat little comparison between English and algebra.